Hey guys, this is Korak from Edureka. Welcome to today's session on installation of Docker. Before we get to the topic at hand, let's just go through today's agenda. First, we have what is Docker, followed by what are the prerequisites of installing Docker in your system. And finally, we have how to install Docker in Windows, Linux, and Mac. Also, if you like our videos, please do subscribe to Edureka channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you're looking for a Docker training certification, check out the link in the comments below. So what is Docker? Now Docker is basically a DevOps tool, which is basically a software which helps build and deploy applications. So basically it is based on the idea that the user can package their code into dependencies and deployable units called containers. So what it basically does is it co-packs the code with dependencies. Now dependencies are probably a piece of code or a functionality without which another piece of code cannot work. So next we have the prerequisites of installing Docker. Now, if you're a Windows user, the first prerequisite for installing Docker is Windows 10 64 bit or Windows 11. The next prerequisite is enabling the Windows subsystem for Linux feature in Windows. And the third prerequisite is BIOS level virtualization has to be enabled in your system for you to have Docker desktop. And final is you should have at least 4 GB RAM in your system. Next up, we have it for Mac OS. The first word thing for Mac OS is that version 10.14 or newer will support Docker Desktop. No other versions will support Docker Desktop. Only 10.14 and the ones that came after that. Next up, compatible version of Docker Desktop application that is found on Mac. Then we have VirtualWorks version 4.3.30 on newer. And what happens after that is finally we have the minimum 4 GB RAM requirement. And if you do it for Ubuntu, what happens with Ubuntu is you need Docker engine to be installed. Then the second point is that only Ubuntu 18.04 LTS or higher will support Docker desktop. Finally, we have the architecture, which is the x86-64 AMD64 architecture and 4 GB minimum RAM requirement that is there for all systems. Then we have Docker installation for different systems. The first one is for Windows. Now, for Windows, when you have to install Docker, the first thing you do is download and install Docker from the Docker Hub in Google. Then you make sure that your Windows subsystem for Linux is enabled. And finally, you change the administrator permissions and add it to the Docker group. For Mac, it's something different. First, you download the installer from the Docker Hub, which is the docker.dng file, followed by you agreeing to terms to start using Docker. And finally, you start Docker using the docker.app application that is available in the setup file. And finally, we have Ubuntu. Now, there are two ways of installing Docker in Ubuntu. You can either install Docker engine and download it from there, or you can set a Docker repository and that can be installed manually using the EP packages. And now we have a Docker installation demo. So this is the Docker documentation page where you can install Docker. And all you have to do here is click here and your download starts. So after you've installed it, you'll have the Docker desktop installer and you basically have to just run it. So this is what you get during the installation wizard. You don't have to untick anything and you just have to click on OK and it starts. So while this gets installed, what you have to do is check whether Docker is supported on your system. How will you know that, right? So the first thing you do is you go to run and you write WinWord. So this basically tells you the Windows version that you have and this is Windows 10 Pro. So at least a Windows 10 Pro or higher will be needed for Docker to run, right? Next, we check if the system is virtualization enabled. Here you go to the task manager and after that you go to performance and here you see that virtualization has been enabled so you basically know that docker will be supported in your system and finally after the installation is done you'll see that the installation is successful now what you have to do here is that you have to restart your system so that docker starts functioning and after that it's all good so what we do for linux is slightly different 
here we are using VirtualBox. So Linux, this is version 20.04. Now what we have to do for Linux is slightly different. So this system doesn't have Docker yet. So there are some very basic commands that you can write to install Docker. So there are some very basic comments you can write to install Docker. The first comment to install Docker is this, sudo. So what you have to do here is in the terminal first, you write this command called sudo apt install docker.io. It'll ask for your password. If you have a password, then apply the password and then the installation starts. So as this is basically Docker getting installed into your Ubuntu system and it takes a bit of time. So this is basically installing and the progress is nearly done. It's nearly installed. So as soon as that gets installed, what we have to do is we have to check the status of Docker in our system, if it's enabled or not. So I think right now Docker has been installed. So the next thing you have to do is you have to check the status of Docker in your system, right? So this is how we do it. We write sudo system c t l status docker right so this now says that it is running and it is active so basically now we see that the status of docker in our ubuntu system is active and running so this is how you install docker in ubuntu as well with that, I'd like to end today's session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment it and you can comment and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!